The other main form of annotation in AutoCAD is text. Text is used to label objects, to put in notes, title blocks, and a lot of other different instances throughout your drawings. There are two main forms of text, single line text and multi-line text. Multi-line text has mostly replaced the use of single line text, but there are still places where single line text may be better. To create single line text, type in the word dtext. Pick a starting point for your text, define a height, just type in the number, enter in your rotation angle, which will typically be zero, and then start typing. When you're finished, press enter. Now it looks like it's going down to a second line. Press enter again, and it keeps going. Finally, you might want to press escape to get out of it. But when you pick one of these objects, you'll see it's single line and it's one object. This is a second object. You can also start the single line text by going up to the annotate tab in the ribbon, going to the text panel, click the fly out, and go single line text. And it works the same way. Now I can type in my height, I can put in my angle, and now if you hold the control key down and press enter, that will get you right out of the text editor. And there you go. When you select one of these objects and the properties palette is open, you have controls over what you see here. You have your typical color layer, line type, etc. Your 3D visualization if you're in AutoCAD, not AutoCAD LT. And then the contents. I can edit the contents right here. See, I just changed this. You can change the text style. And that works just like a dimension style or a leader style, etc. It can change the justification. Change the height the rotation, and everything else. I can even change the obliquing. That makes it italicized. Change my alignment, my positions, make it backwards. You can even make it upside down. Just in case your drawing is upside down and backwards, you can do that. So there are a lot of different things you can do with single line text. Something you can't do is have more than one line, obviously and you don't have all of the fancy text editing features that are in multi-line text. We'll look at some of those later. To edit the text again, just like anything else, you double click it, and there you go. Everything's highlighted in here. You can pick where you want your cursor to be, and that's where you're going to type. So you can just start typing away or edit it, etc. That's single line text. The nice thing about single line text is when you edit the text for whatever reason, and you just type something in, you hit enter, and you're right out. It's real easy to do. That's one benefit to single line text. So if you put it in a sort of table-like list, it makes it easy to edit each individual one. And you can move the text to put it exactly where you want it to be, to line that up, and to go. So that part is real easy to do. But of course, you can do a lot of that with multi-line text too, and we'll get into that here real soon.